The overall goal of this procedure is to dose groups of fish accurately and efficiently with ethanol for assessing the effects of repeated dosing on withdrawal behavior. This is accomplished by first dosing the zebrafish using a new method that has been developed to allow for the simultaneous drug exposure of whole groups of fish for precise amounts of time. The second step is to continue dosing the fish on a schedule that permits testing for specific effects of ethanol withdrawal. Next, during withdrawal, Fish are individually tested in a light, dark task using motion tracking software to record movement. The final step is to analyze the data in order to investigate the effects of ethanol withdrawal on zebrafish behavior. Ultimately, repeated ethanol dosing using the described procedure results in transient but marked effects on the behavior of zebrafish following two days of withdrawal. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows for simultaneous drug administration to large groups of fish. And it's ideal for studies involving repeated drug, drug or toxin exposure over long periods of time. This method can help answer key questions in the field of neuropharmacology, such as the quantification of withdrawal-related behaviors. We first had the idea for this method when we tried to administer ethanol to multiple fish at the same time and found that netting was both an inaccurate and imprecise method for administering drugs. To begin, prepare an administration schedule such that the animals are...